It's recording. Two bands that he formed between the time that Myers and I broke up and got back together. Screwball and Screwball. God. I'm not really up on my DC trivia that much. Screwball and Grand Union. I didn't know that one. Uh, straight edge stuff. Hard to get me because I got a lot of my, my information. I was kids and Sandy. Who is GM2? Who? Who is GM2? Who's that? GM2 is the song that girl was dumb. Slut. What does it mean? I don't know what that means. I know it's slut though. I don't have the 7 inch, I have the tape. Source Men of South was the second. What's that? Kid. Pasta and mixed vegetables is just awesome. Yeah. So rich. Tim, this is possibly one of the worst songs ever recorded. Yes, it you is. You like it. Go ahead. Love it. Uh. Straight edge stuff. Oh, come on, I don't like talking about bold that much. What about Judge? Judge. I know all Play about Judge. Plays Judge. I just knew that. God. Luke. Please bass. This kid named, um... And what band was he in? Death Before Dishonor. I don't remember the uh, name, though. Didn't you? Yeah. Uh... Is he, is he Chinese kids? Yeah. I think I've seen a video of you guys in the kids. Tell me about it. That's a lot of good straight edge trivia. Uh, my trivia column rules for next kid. We should make one. I'll help you write it. I'll be the editor. Like one of those guys. Put the, yeah. Raise Jesus in it. Nailed. <laughs> <laughs> Praise <laughs> Jesus and the MK with God. Uh, and Jules the schism, and Judas. The schism, the schism quiz, it rules. I love that. I sat there and I was just enthused. Dude, wait till you read the I, I read it like, oh, oh, back to back, like twice. I had to be like, oh man, what's the new, is the new one good? It's awesome. It's a new issue of fucking that rules. You're gonna love it. I'd get one. It's probably out. I gotta call that kid. More food, boy. What? Who's in straight ahead? I don't know, everyone. That's, that's dumb. So the New York City Mayhem Free. Oh. It's Craig, Tommy, Armin, and uh, Rob. Craig, who? And Rob. Wasn't that the name we cut for? Craig, Rob, Armin. Armin. Yep. Did you know those guys when they were made up? Show were they all long hairs? Were they just heavy metal idiots or what? Um. Okay, dude. What three members of Youth of Today, past and present, played for Warzone? Ooh, that's a good one. I have no idea. Ch well. 
and one. Mike? Nope. Who? <laughs> Who's in Warzone? Tommy played on the seven inch, first of all. Tommy? Kirk Carroll? Yeah. You're kidding me. Yeah, like half of it. Wow. Sucks. I know. Tommy's a good drummer. I know it was Walter. Walter played with him? Did you hear the big schism about how Walter was in Warzone? And we asked him to join you today? That's why I get a fight now? Don't fuck with me. I thought I we really wanted Walter to be in here today, right? Uh-huh. And Walter wanted to be in here today, but he was in Warzone. I fucking hated Warzone and wanted to quit and wanted to join you today. So I was like talking to Walter about it and stuff. I said Walter I said Walt one day Walter went to Warzone for I said he did it, he quit. And I knew Walter was gonna do it that day. And I came home, and I listened to my answer machine, put the first message, Ray Beef. Yo, you fucking asshole. You trying to schism Walter out of our band? You trying to schism Walter on? Yo, you better watch it, because next time I see you on the streets, I'm going to rip your dick off and shove it down your throat. Send it to your mother for Mother's Day. You hear me, you motherfucking backstabbing son of a bitch. You're not safe on the street because I'm going to fucking kill you, man. You're dead. You're dead. No way. Yes. That rule. Yes. I locked my door. I would, too. under my sheets. Rabies hated me for about six months. Yep. Rabies wouldn't talk to me for about six months. Probably even longer, probably like eight months. Matter of fact, well, he wouldn't talk to me from winter, last winter to the end of this summer. End Name, of last summer. Here we go, I got one for Sam. Name all the bands Walter's been in. Easy. You'll never get it. I can get it. I think I can get it. I think I can get it. I think I can get most of them. Okay, go for it. Him. The ones I know for sure. Gorilla Biscuits, Project X. Warzone, Youth of Today, um, Walter, 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 Outburst. Oh, Outburst. Uh, Got it. Still. One more lacking? Oh, yeah. Um, Let me give you a hint. Yeah. Ba -na -ba -ba -ba. Super Touch. Oh yeah, that's right. Was he in Super Touch? Yeah, for the time. Wow. Let me get you played. Huh? Pretty good, You're pretty huh? good. Sammy's old school. The total wings are so good, man. You don't understand. I thought I four times when you played. John, I'm having a book of time. Can you get my play? Maybe I'll send the Jeff this book out as well. Yeah? Uh-huh. Well, I'm gonna go take a picture. I definitely need more uh, broccoli. I'm gonna take a picture. Now they're gone. Yeah. Who is being related to? I don't know. Three hundred dollars. Rich. Russell. Really? You little brother? Wow. They don't look alike. One's a good-natured kid. One's an asshole. It's true. How did you know that? Because I met him. Played out here. Okay. Okay, project. What member of you today is not true? 
What yeah. number was not straight? Is, is yeah. not straight. Yeah. To this date? Yeah. <laughs> Name all the members of youth today that weren't straight edge. Bram, Darren, Tommy, and Rich. Those are the guys that aren't straight edge now. Who who was the only member that wasn't straight edge while in the band? Darren. He used to smoke cigars. He used to threaten us that he would smoke cigars on stage. Oh man, I'm playing. Cool. Yeah. In the band now. Don't eat too fast because we're going to stay for like another half an hour. Yeah, don't, yeah. I don't know. I don't know who that is. Who? <laughs> that rules. <laughs> Are you taping this? Yeah, they wanted to get yeah. it on tape. Well, I was going to do a Project interview. It was interview. a joke. <laughs> Don't yeah. even fuck with that, man. I know. Why, I know. why are you guys taping this? We're going to do a Project X interview. we got some trivia on tape now. Okay, Project X interview. We're going to do a Project X interview. Project X interview. Okay. The members of Project X present. Slam. Slam. Present. Oh. Slam and the youth. The youth of today. So, for the record, the translations of the names, who are they? Who's Kid Hard? Who's ND? Who's Slam? And who's the youth? Alex is no longer Kid Hard. Who's playing guitar now? Now he's Cage Chicken. His new Cage name. Cage Chicken. He's Cage Chicken. Plays guitar. ND plays bass. Oh, what does ND stand for? Oh, <laughs> my God. That's a good one. You got me. I don't but know. you should put that in Skizzy trivia. What? What does ND stand for? That's a good for? one. Ready for this one? Not dedicated. Not he used to blow off practice all the time. Who? Walter. Walter. Okay, so who's we on told him it stood for, new, for no drugs. But it really stands for not dedicated. Wow. Okay. What's up? Okay, so who's the members of the band? Me, Sammy, Alex, Walter. And Walter's righteous. Walter's righteous. And why did you guys decide to put out a mystery record when you guys... Because it's punk, and we're punks. Ah! ah. No, seriously, why'd you put a mystery record when you wanted to come out and, and blow away these people in New York that were big and funny? Uh, first, uh, first we were just going to put out a record. Me and Alex, because we were doing schism, and we wanted to make it a really good issue. And so uh, we wanted to put a record inside with, it. With, with, with uh, Impact Unit and uh, Last Right stuff. We were just going to do all old stuff. We call it the Bringing It Back EP. It's all this old hardcore stuff. But uh, none of the bands would do it, so we had to make our own band. So uh, we got everybody together. So what? Yeah. And uh, it was that time in New York when Straight Edge just uh, had like a bad name. You know, CBs wouldn't do Straight Edge bands anymore. We decided to push out as many people as possible to write the most Straight Edge. We record. decided it was time to fight back. In the name of Straight Edge. Make change. So we said, let's put out the most straight edge record we possibly and it can. Many people got pissed off. I bet you Billy Rubin is rolling over in his grave the very second. He's rolling over in his bed. I don't think Billy Rubin can sleep at night now that the Project X single is out. For the record, what is who's crossing you about? Half off. We wrote it in three seconds. We wrote we wrote across me within at our last practice, right before, we were only had four songs on the record, and at our last practice, right before we recorded, uh, someone said, hey, yeah, did you hear what Half Off said about you? What did they say about us? He said, uh... He said something about you today. And I was like, we were like, fuck, fuck. How can we get even with Half Off? We wrote Cross Me in like five seconds. It's about Half Off. Explain the music for the songs. I know that some of the songs go on with other bands. Like Strange Revenge. Strange Revenge used to be a Youth Today song. And why didn't why didn't Youth Today use it? Um, a little too militant. Yeah, it's a little negative. You know, Youth Today is more of a positive type band. Um, Dance for Justice was a discipline song. Now what's okay? Go ahead. And, uh, and uh, the music was not the lyrics. The music was a discipline song. And the other bands, the other songs were own songs. And what's what's discipline? Discipline was uh. Walter, Alex, Luke, and uh, Gus. They had one practice. They were awful. <laughs> they gave up. I was at the practice, man. They suck. I wish I was there. <laughs> Trapped in a car. No way to fight back. No. Anyways. Anyway. So, um, we wrote all the 
songs in about a week. We practiced for like two weeks or whatever. We only had like four practices and then we recorded. Yeah, sort of like a spur of the moment type thing, you know? So what's the deal with the project that can help you? <coughs> The edge up. of coral. Whatever the edge of coral. Whenever we need the money. <laughs> yeah, whenever, we, whenever we get the time. We're going to do it in the fall. Whenever it comes to time for another... Uh, whenever we get inspired enough and we think that it's time to put out the ultimate straight edge 12 inch, we're going to do it. So what, about, what, what was your reaction when, when the Project X record came out? Did you, get your, did you accomplish your goal? Yes. What did Definitely. people think? What reactions were you getting from people? Were people actually scared of getting beat up? Straight edge kids loved it. No edge kids hated it. That's exactly what we wanted. You know? Separate the good guys from the bad guys. <laughs> That's true. That was, that was the reaction. When you went to shows, got. were people starting to fear you? No. What, how did the Construction Globe era start? What is it? Construction Globe thing started a long time ago. Uh-huh. The abused. Kevin Crowley used to always wear construction gloves. It's an old New York thing. Bring it back. Since Mike's old school. Mike's been around since like 82. So did you bring the, uh, you you wore gloves on stage when you played? Right. So did Alex? No. Alex? (laughs) Maybe he sounded like he was. (laughs) Really? Like guitar gloves. So how many practices did your project deck have? Five, six, Five. seven. How much, that many. To do, how much did it cost to do the um, seven inch? Hundred bucks. Who's who's um hand been who's whose hands getting drawn on the cover of the deck? Fine. And on the back of the uh, photo, in the back of the record, in front of CBGBs. Yep. Because of shutdown, right? Yep. Would it would be possible forever for Project X to play CBG? We might do a sneak appearance one of these days. Get the power shut off on us and uh, really get kicked out. We were going to do it at the Bold Show. We are just going to get up really quick, like between songs, and play Shut Down. But I don't know why we didn't. We <laughs> should have. Bold got fucked anyway. We're not Bold can't play CBG anymore either. Well, they can't? Why not? Because of association? Crazy. And the guy from Crucial Youth was the bouncer and it was great. We were just fucking doing stage dives off his shoulders. He was going, Hey, stop that guys. It was what a great show. Bold at CBs with the Crucial Youth guys being the bouncer. We ruled on him. It was great. He would like try to kick us off the stage. We'd just like throw him off the stage and stuff. Funny. Was Project X sort of an answer to the Crucial Youth record? It was an answer to all those Not really records. a Crucial Youth record. Just people that love to put down straight edge. But it's always giving them something to really hate. Yeah. That's what they go through. So. Yeah. Little bit of side by side. Used it today. Bold. Bold. And uh, that's about it. And uh, no, they can play. Absolution. An absolution camp. Yeah. Um, what's the, is the project? Is Project X about? Threaten to rip off my dick, stuff it in my what? mouth, and send project me to my mother for project Mother's X. Day. <laughs> is Project X about violence? No way. I'm an anti-violent fan. The only thing that could possibly be taken for violent is I'll fuck you up as fast as the pill on your throat. Dance for justice. Dance for justice. Which they all do it. Just walking down the avenue beating up people left and right. Drug dealers, man. Dance for justice is about nonviolence. It's not. Yeah. It's like something like we just might, though. Exactly. It's more of like. It's more like if a guy's gonna, some drunk loser's gonna, uh... You know, you ever go to a show with some guy in the middle of the pit, who's fucked up, or even just being like a dick, 
dance? Sucks, man. No one can dance or have a good time. It happens all the time, too, you know? It happened one time in the and all the kids rebelled and threw them out of the club. Awesome. You know, why let one kid ruin everybody's good time because he's drunk? I'm not saying beat the kid up, just throw him out of the club. Yeah? You know? He's drunk, he's hurting my friend. We gotta make it end. Okay, for Josh? I like it. I like it. It's not a violent song, it's not a violent song. So, how many times for the record did you guys play? Five. What club did you guys play at? Rich, Rich Anthrax, Anthrax, Buffalo, Dragon. Cleveland. Okay, now why, why um, are your reasons for playing the Ritz after having a song called Shut Down at the end? It's because that you know, you're going to end up playing with a bucket reason. Because the Ritz always did lame shows, but this show had nine hardcore bands for seven bucks. He thought that wasn't that bad. Mm-hmm. Also, thought we'd give the Ritz a chance. Nice job. We played a show like the, well, was, was, actually they said before we played, you're not going to get any money, you're not going to get a table, you're not going to get a guest list. We got a table, we got a guest list, we got 50 bucks. But you know what still sucks is? Every band got 50 bucks except for Warzone. And, uh, God knows. They're like all down with uh, the Ritz and like uh, Chris Williams and stuff. But, uh, play short the Ritz, you get the opportunity to play in front of, you know, hundreds of people, hundreds of people. You get to spread the message a lot better, you know? But the Ritz is still lame. I kind of much regret playing there. High door prices, fucking dick bouncers. Put it there once. With discharge. I'm leaving. Don't leave. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. not. How many Project X t-shirts are pretty Uh-huh, I get pissed off. Put this try hat on. Uh-huh. Come on, you guys. Interview you. Pyramid ruled. Ray and Ray Beach. Together. Ray Beach worked there. Transvestite bar. How many shirts are printed on Project X? How many shirts? Hey, you're printing up more, right? Uh, three dozen. Four dozen. Print it up and you're printing up more, but you know. Nope. Mm-hmm. Nope, that's it. No more shirts. Yeah, there you go. That's it, boy. What's the decision for not pressing the, uh, why the decision for not pressing, repressing the project back to You were going to do it, now not. Uh, we were going to do it, and me and Alex ran out of money. And then we were going to do it at the end of the summer. But then we figured why not do an album at the end of the summer and just keep the single rare. Did you use the, did you use the uh, money to line your pockets off the single or did you use it to put it into the band system? I don't know what happened to the money. What? I don't know what happened to the money. Did you have to put it back in the schism? All the money goes back in the schism. What's your favorite schism release? Bam. Project X. <laughs> the best record on Schism is going to be the Beyond album. Beyond are the best new band. What are the new Project X songs about? Are there any written? Yeah, there's one actually. What? So, what's that? It's called You Can't Keep Me Down. Oh, Keep Me Down, you guys put it live. Right. Maybe there's a today's song. I don't know, but the Schism is just the music now. Yeah, that's right. What you got? Albany, Albany, Buffalo, Cleveland. Albany, Buffalo, Cleveland, and Anthrax. Yeah. And the Ritz. What's that? Remember our new song? What's the lyrics to it? Oh, yeah. Is that Keep Me Down with? Keep Me Down. Yeah, the lyrics to that are pretty good. The best part about Keep Me Down. Keep Me Down. That's on the video, too. Came out good. 
We've never seen the Friday Death video. Would you like release like, you, like a famous video? Yeah, it's in a, a kid sells it. Really? You can't wear gloves when you play. Do I? No. Does every, every guy in the band have gloves and wear them for the show? Sure. I'm to think what they want to think. Yes. The only ones that have gloves are me and Mike. Let's face it. We started the whole thing. He did not have gloves. Yeah, he does. We're in the band. <laughs> <laughs> he does. How come Luke was in the band? What band? Project X. He does. Because me and Sammy are the team. Luke, gonna, Luke and everyone else are going to do this one. And me and Michelle are going to do one up. 21. How old are you? I had nothing to do with eight. At 82, I was uh, listening to my Kiss records. I'm the 82 poser. Unlike me, I was on the streets fighting Boston. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How old? You were nine years old in 82. How weird. I want it back again. I feel so gay when I sing that. I, can't, I can never sing along to any, any judge songs. Why? Because I feel so gay. Why? I'm not a judge. I'm not fucking old school hard style. <laughs> I'm just a little kid. I'm sitting there. I want it back again. We were What are you talking know. about? Uh, you and your crew. Never. Fuck the old team. Exactly. You guys should interview Mike, man. He's got a million old stories about uh, old New York days. I got some New York versus Boston fights. Oh, yeah. Tell you about bag the bashing shows. stories. The time me and Harley went to bag bash. Plain Truth, the guy that does Plain Truth is the biggest dick. That kid Sam. Not this Sam. <laughs> What are you doing, Sam? People are trying to enjoy Boy, their meat. <laughs> <laughs> Sam, sit down right now. <laughs> sit down. <laughs> so, why'd you, why'd you form Judge? If you had Project X, why'd you form? Why, why did Judge I actually did that as a favor to Mike. You wanted to dance? Why did he quit Supertouch? Showing you today? And they didn't want him back? No, they begged him to come back. He didn't want to. He wanted to start a new band. He asked me to play guitar. <laughs> I almost fucked. Dude, I almost, I almost went right into my tongue. <laughs> I'll give you a dollar. I Please, my arm hurts so much. Uh, money means everything to Sammy. <laughs> <laughs> he can take care of me. Sit down, Sam. Sit in your chair. I'll give you a record, I promise. Sit in your chair. Okay, I will. Let go. You're going to get punched one more time, so just accept it. I'm not mean, I try to be mean. You think you're putting all over your face? Yeah, Dude, the fucking ones went into my tongue. Well, it fun. You know how long it takes to stop your tongue from bleeding? A long time. I'm going to play some games. Do you have time to play games? Let's go, man. You got like an hour. It's probably like 45 cool. minutes. It took like 45 minutes for the games. I can play elevator action for an hour. I'm going to get some footage. I'm going to break. What you got Dude, no way. That's right. Why? Yeah, I'm bored. Dude, come on. I hear the secrets that you keep. Do that. Do that. When you're talking in your sleep, when you close your eyes. Well, what can I do?
I want it back again, the spirit that we once had. Showing all these new hearts, man. Yo, they're like, not fucking bad. You're not a friend of mine. You're not a friend of mine. You're not a friend of mine. This is the funniest thing. It was so funny. You're not a friend of mine. It rocked. It rocked house, dude. What? Why is she? Okay. The the New York City youth crew all stars consist of John Priscelli, Samuel Siegler, Jason Anarchy, Raymond Capo, <laughs> Walter. Shrifles. Young Dylan Shrifles. Lucas Abbey. Arthur Biscuit. Siv Gorilla. I said Raymond Capo. Alex. Alex. Alexander, Alexander, fuck you, Brown. Regular youth crew members. Wide awake, passe. Beyond, passe. Moshing hoods, passe. Boiling point, passe. Smorgasbord, passe. Every other straight edge band in America, Passé. except Half Off, Passe. Have to be straight edge. You have to you have to fight Tommy Carroll. <laughs> no, seriously, no leather sneakers. You have to. In fact, you have to. You have to wear Vans. You have to wear a hooded sweatshirt in the winter. You have to have a crew cut, except for when it's summertime and you want to style so you can get girls. Uh, you, <laughs> you have to, uh, you have to say guy, or dude, or awesome, or bitchin'. You have to play one video game. You have to game. pray to the Lord Pac Mania. You have to pray to the Lord Pac Mania. You have to do three rounds a week. You, uh,. Bleach your hair at least once in your life. You have to play an instrument. It, this is, or you have to be involved in music, or you have to uh, particular. All right. Those are the rules. Don't print those. Just a joke. Shaved on like it. Who rock the Casbah? Fuck the Casbah. The shirts on like it. Hey. Rock the Casbah. Fuck the Casbah. All right. Sing about the pudding, Sam. Do the suicidal rap for us. Go, cut creator, go. Go, cut creator, go. Go, go. Go, 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 go creator. Video games, video games. I'll be. You can, I'll laugh, we put on. Go, cut creator, go. 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 Suicide learned to be in youth. Yo. 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 Doesn't even taste good. God, never. Oh, man, never again.